Hey, what's up, folks? Um, I made this video to show you how to export stems using Serato Studio. Something I've seen come up a few times. A couple friends have asked me how to do it. It's really, really easy. So I made this video to show you how to do it. Check it out real quick. Peace. You've got these two options when you open up from the welcome screen. You can make a new beat or make a new remix. And if you just want to get stems, let's just go to make a new remix. Click on that. Um, and then you'll be brought to this screen here where you can drop audio. If you have your files in Serato or DJ, it'll show up there. You can also just like browse your files here. And this one was sent to me by my friend Nick Wisdom of Potato Head People. He wanted to get the files for a song he made with my friend Amalia called Love Ya. And we'll just drag that in like this. And as you can see, the file is in here. Um, what it's done is it's actually figured out the BPM. If we go back to the library here, you'll see the BPM is 111 and the key is A minor. And this is where you go to the song view. And this will take you to your song view. You can make this bigger if you want. Um, and this is the wave. This is your waveform here. And what it's done is it's actually tried to find the downbeat and it's got that right. Right there is a downbeat. It's also synced and key synced and beat synced the project to the project tempo, which is set from the BPM on key of the track, but you can turn that off like so. And you can also have it start wherever you want. So you can see that's where the, the downbeat is, but you can extend that out just like you would in like any other DAW with that little cropping tool. Um, what it does is it has a grid there though, so the grid will be set. What you really want to do is just isolate things. So up uh, on the top left here, you've got the drums, take those out. You got the bass, take that out. Melody, take that out. Now you've just got the, the acapella. Uh, sometimes you can see it's just filling in the waveform as it takes its time to analyze that. And then just press play. Uh, you can press play here or you can press play here. This will just play the clip, and then this will play the arrangement if you have anything else in here. I love you. Skip ahead. I used to try to keep up with you know, it's pretty damn good. Um, obviously not perfect. Nothing at this point that I know of is perfect. But even in the program itself, if you want to treat it a little bit, you can do that really easily too. At the top here, there's an effects button. Click on that, and you can do things like play a little reverb. I like to use this light tail reverb. It's a stock plugin. Comes with the software for free. And I used to try to keep up with Jonesy. Sounds good. Just a little like extra touch. If you're happy with that, you don't want to do anything else. You can just click export up the top right. You can export your file as a wave or an MP3. Yeah, if that's all you wanted to do, do that. Um, just name it and save it wherever you want. And it'll just bounce it out pretty quick. Uh, what I'll do next though is, uh, when I saw someone on the internet asking like, I just want to get the four stems like of the track and you can do that really easily. I'll show you how to do that momentarily. If you just duplicate this track, sorry, three times, I guess. And I think if you make a change to one of them, it might be reflected in all of them. Oh no, yeah, it's still independent. So you can just go in here and now this is just the melody and this one will be just the bass. And this one will be just the drums. So now you can see you've got your, you can move this up as well if you want. You've got the acapella and you probably want to rename that. This is the melody. This is the bass and this is the drums. Nice. So now we've got acapella, melody, bass, and drums. And if you really want to speed up the export process on this, you can go here export audio and you can actually export the stems. So we don't need to export the drum pads as individual audio files, there's none of those. We don't need to export a region file and we don't need to decrease the audio output by for the stems by 6 dB. We just want them as is. So we can just click export and you can call them stems for love. Yeah. And now that's going to bounce out all of the stems and have them named. It's really important that's why you name them so that you know which one's which when you open up the folder on your desktop and it will have all those stems labeled, named, and also attach uh, the BPM and key value to each of these stems too. So it's really helpful if you needed to share them with somebody. Super easy. The, the four stems v version is only going to be available in the paid version, but I'm pretty sure if you have the free version, you can just generate an acapella or a melody or just a drums, but just one thing. You, I think you want to get one audio track. So if you're you know tight on the dough, 
get the free version and you know just do them one by one or if you have if you feel like paying and using the software for other things because it's <laughs> quite good at that um trust me i use it all the time and um yeah you can use it for many many things like remixing mashups uh just adding some drums to an acapella or or something or, or just make beats like honestly yeah i make a lot of beats in here there's some really great things about the workflow full disclaimer I work for Serato, so slightly biased, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Hopefully that answers the questions that uh, people have been asking and this video has been helpful. I'll show you the folder um, just so you know what to expect. So here you can see in the folder for Stamps for Love You, you've got the acapella, bass, drums, melody, scene track, you don't have to worry about that, and studio drum kit, there's nothing in there anyways, but yeah, you got, you got them all there. You can just delete these other ones that you don't need. And you've got all your stems nicely labeled, helpful, and ready to send off to your friends. Yeah, hope that's been really helpful. I would be amiss to if I didn't say please like and subscribe. I don't do as much of these videos, so, <laughs> you know, they're a bit few and far between. But yeah, I will do more of these videos if uh, there are specific things that you want me to show or talk about. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, and hope to catch you around here on the uh, Yellow YouTube channel sometime. If you want to listen to my DJ mixes, beats, or other things. All right. Peace.